morning, everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. This is Lola, and thank you for joining me once again. The Lord released the word this morning, and it is different this time around. For the Lord opened my eyes, and in a vision, I saw arrows flying. And this reminds me of the word of the Lord in the book of Psalms 91. There the Bible says arrows will fly. Sure, arrows will fly. But then one thing is sure, these arrows that fly by day and by night, God will keep us from them coming to our, our lives or to our dwelling places. Praise God. And then the Lord says, Satan is lodging attack on God's people and especially on our spiritual life. The Lord opened my eyes and led me to different signs that show that Satan is attacking one's spiritual life. How do you identify, how do you know that Satan is attacking your spiritual life? The Lord says the signs will be your signs. Number one, when you have this feeling of being suppressed, you know, many times, a few people experience this. It's as if there is a personality, a dark force, a dark force that suppresses one, especially in the place of prayer. When you feel suppressed spiritually, when it looks as if there is a dark force, there is a dark power that is suppressing you in the spirit. This is your sign that you're being attacked spiritually by Satan. Because the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse, verse 12, that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of darkness. And the purpose of this is to lure God's people away from God's presence and then to make you forget the purpose of your relationship with God. So when you have this feeling of being suppressed in the presence of God, this is satanic attack on your spiritual life. And I'm praying for everyone experiencing this being suppressed by dark powers in the mighty name of Jesus be released right now in Jesus mighty name a second sign is the temptation the, when you're being tempted to violate God's express command we all know the will of God for our lives the Bible says Adam and Eve they were they were deceived they were deceived by the Satan to lure them out of God's presence when you have this this desire and there is this temptation in in you to lure you to make you violate god's express command know that satan is lodging attack on your spiritual life again the bible says that there is no temptation that can come near us that jesus had not experienced and that he has not conquered for us because to everyone that are now in christ jesus we have victory through christ jesus i'm praying for you every attack of satanic temptation to make you violate the will of God for your life, let them go back to the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Be free, be free to do the will of God and not fall into temptation in the mighty name of Jesus. Your third sign to show that you are being attacked by Satan is when you have constant anxiety and worry. This is one strategy, one weapon of the enemy against God's people to draw us away from God. Because our God is a God of peace. And the Bible says, it's peace that passes all understanding will rest upon us. So when the peace you are experiencing is not overshadowing the worry and the anxiety, know that devil is attacking you. Because when there is attack, on your on your peace of mind when devil lord attacks on your on, on your on, on your peace of mind there will be what anxiety there will be worry then after worry there will be feeling of isolation after this feeling of isolation there will be feeling of fear after this feeling of fear then depression will come in and then suicidal thoughts these are satanic tactics to lure you out of God's presence. These are satanic attacks on your spiritual life. I'm praying for everyone that the enemy is bombarding with anxiety and worry and fear and doubt. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the peace of God right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that is causing anxiety, receive the grace to take them to God and prayers and for answers to come. In the mighty name of Jesus. One thing the enemy likes to do, that is Satan, 
the, the, the enemy of our souls likes to do is to divide and conquer. He likes to bring out, bring a person out of the fold of God's presence, out of the fellowship of God's people, so that it can conquer such life. So when you are having this feeling to, to, to not to not not to fellowship with other presence, with other other people in God's presence, know that this is satanic attack on your spiritual life, and this is true isolation and fear and doubt and anxiety. And the enemy will not use this weapon against you anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. Furthermore, how will you know that you are being attacked spiritually? The next sign is when you have no desire to pray or to read the word of the Lord. When you've become a stranger in the presence of the Lord. When you are like a guest in the presence of the Lord, this is a satanic attack on your spiritual life. When you go to God's presence and you feel like a stranger or you don't know what to say or you're lost for word or you don't, you don't have the desire to study the word of the Lord, when the word of the Lord becomes so familiar to you and you're not receiving new words every day, when it seems as if you're not hearing from God or that God is not speaking to you anymore, know that you're under spiritual attack. And the purpose of Satan is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He wants to kill your spiritual life. He wants to destroy destroy your spiritual life. We want to kill your spiritual life. I know that this is a tactic. And as God's children are praying to everyone, struggling spiritually to talk to God and to hear from God. This moment I pray for you, let your spiritual eyes be open. Let your spiritual ear begin to hear God clearly. Let your heart of understanding be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Again, when there is desire in you to embrace the whole nature. The Bible says to everyone who is now in Christ, you are a new creature. All things have passed away. Everything is new. If you are now walking in holiness, if you are now pursuing righteousness, and then you are seeing traces of old nature in you, your old friends are coming back and you're welcoming them, your old nature, old habits, old, old behaviors, things you've said goodbye to, if they are creeping in and you are welcoming them and you are opening the door for them, you are not seeing the big deal in these things again, know that Satan is attacking you spiritually. And I'm praying for you that every manifestation of old nature in your life we disappear now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the Spirit of the Lord come. Let the light of the Lord come and flood your heart right now. Let the new creature come and reign in you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lastly, the points the Lord, the signs the Lord revealed to me to share with you is when you, there is constant oppression and affliction. The Bible says Job was a holy man, a righteous man, a perfect man before the Lord. But because Satan wants to draw him away from God and tempt his, his faithfulness to God, like devil is launching attack to tempt, to divide, to conquer, to separate us from God's love. He will bring oppression and attacks. When you are facing a series of challenges, when you are facing a series of setbacks, when it seems as if you are being bombarded with many things here and there, these are satanic attacks to distract you, to make you look for solution elsewhere, to make you not have time to talk to God about these challenges. This is satanic attack on you. I'm praying for you in the mighty name of Jesus by divine authority. Every satanic oppression, every satanic setback and affliction to distract you, every attack of the enemy on your life, every bombardment of Satan to lure you away from God's presence. Let them come to an end today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your time of test come to an end. Let the presence of the Lord come and fight for you, overshadow you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm praying for every one of us that will keep on standing on the rock of ages, that will not fall, that will not fail, that the enemy that is seeking our hearts to kill, to steal and destroy will not have dominion over us in the mighty name of Jesus. From the arrows of the enemy that is flying by day and by night, receive your breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive divine coverage in the mighty name of Jesus. I see many people right now holding on to the handcuff of the Lord. That handcuff is the rock of ages. You are handcuffed on the rock of ages. You will not be removed. You will not be shaken out of the presence of God. You will not be taken. You will not be lured out. You will not be distracted out of the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm praying that you will grow spiritually. I'm praying that you will grow in power, in strength, in might of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus.
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God loves you. I love you. Thank you for coming back for more of God's word. Newcomers are welcome. God loves you. I want you to let that always ring in your spirit that God loves you. I will be praying more for you. Please pray for me too. We need to pray for one another. Yes, let's pray for one another. God bless you all. Peace and love of God.